Yo guys, welcome to the video. This is Josh or Milky and in today's video we're going to be talking about the latest and greatest arguably farm in Path of Exile. This farm is absolutely ridiculous. It can farm everything the game has to offer, almost, but it is a farm that utilizes the arguably one of the most broken items ever added to the game, the All Flame Ember of Anarchy. This makes it so that the pack that you put it on gets transformed into a pack of rogue exiles. Now, why is this important? Well, it's because they are unique mobs in this instance. The unique mob means that we can scale it using the Scarab Beyond Scarab of the Invasion, which means that when we kill a unique monster, we summon 8 to 12 Beyond Balls, which ends up summoning an, an absolutely ridiculous amount of mobs. You're going to be killing in excess of four or 5,000 mobs per map, and of course, when you're killing that many mobs in such a small amount of time, well, that's when MF starts to come into things. And my character doesn't have a single piece of MF on it. It's pure non-MF, not a single percent quantity on it. And much to my, you know, more fool me, but given how this farm exists. So then we go on to the Divination Scarabs. Now, the Divination Scarab of Curation, if you don't know, makes it so you drop 10% more Divination cards in your area per different favorite map. So this can go up to 120% more divination cards. The divination cards that drop in the area are replaced by the cards that drop in your favorite maps. This is very, very important. So all the cards that you've got from all your favorites get put into one map and you can obviously tailor that to be quite a good list of cards. And it's more important that you raise the weight of div cards amongst all the possible drops than focus on specific div cards. I hope that makes sense. Now, the Divination Scarab of Completion gives you a 20% chance to drop as a full stack instead. I, myself, today have dropped two full Headhunters, two full Nimis, and two full Mirror Shards. And bear in mind, I say today loosely, this was five or six maps that I've run doing this strategy. And you can see even here, look at all the Vol Fragments, three Fiend Cards, seven Doctors on top of the 16 that I've already used and sold, two Mirror Shards, Nine other seven years bad look, a ton more enlightened than I could ever know what to do with. And this isn't to brag about the loot, the loot is there or there. It's because if you've got a character that's capable, it's probably the most accessible these things will ever be in terms of your ability to farm them. The amount you're going to be producing on one map is more than it's probably ever been, even looking at Affliction League. Now, these maps are obviously very, very difficult. They require a very strong character, but in some ways that also goes against the strategy. If it's so top heavy, well, by the time most people get to that point, the economy is going to be in absolute shambles. Now, if you cast your mind back a few leagues, you will know that ghosting was a thing. This was where you, instead of having the ghosts enter a mob, you would have them enter your player, and then you would apply their increased quantity to all the monsters. On T17 maps, there is a modifier that reads, rare and unique monsters spawn a tormented spirit on reaching low life. So when we think about what we've done so far, we have a ton of unique mobs from our rogue exiles. We have a ton of rare monsters being summoned from beyond. So we have a ton of tormented spirits going into our character and then applying those quantity effects to the monsters. So all those thousands of monsters in the map that are going to be giving you these ghosts and applying extra quantity to the mobs you can see where this starts to get a little bit ridiculous. And then finally, we have the Divination Scarab, which is just 150% increased divination cards found in the area. Now, if after listening to me waffle about all that, you're thinking, damn, that is expensive. I mean, the Divination Scarab of Curation is 15 divines. The divina this completion is, is almost a divine. The Rogue Exiles themselves, you have to use like four of them on each map or five even if you get the good packs. That sounds expensive and you're right, except for the fact that the Fortunate is a card it exists right so the fortunate if i have any that i haven't already turned in right here the fortunate this is, you should have seen one of these even if you're playing right, like Al can go content you'll have seen a fortunate you drop two divine orbs this is such a common card that you will sustain the investment on your maps in this alone literally dropping full stacks of these getting two divines i almost always sustained the cost of my map just with divine orbs from the fortunate so the argument that you can that the expense is a problem is is not really there it's a high barrier to entry but once you get rolling and you can afford to do five plus maps then the rng is going to go away completely and your only issue then is whether or not you DC. Now as for the skill tree, I will show it. I know some people probably will want to do this or some people will be wanting to punch me through the monitor. Either way, I'm going to show it. Here it is. 
This is how I've been doing it. And the reason I took Eternal Torment is because every time you click one of the corpses, you have the ability to 50% chance to spawn a tormented spirit. Obviously, we have the ghosting stuff to give us additional quantity, perma beyond, so we don't brick our map by summoning the boss. Ritual, just as a way to regurgitate those rogue exiles we've got. They will be resummoned by the ritual and they will spawn more beyond Paul. So it's just more juice in your map. I'm sorry for these trades. I will answer them afterwards. I do apologize. Then we have the uh, significant troves to drop a ton of scarabs, and you do drop an awful lot of scarabs. It, like, you almost sustain scarabs. I mean, you don't literally, but you drop so many scarabs that it's ridiculous. Obviously, more torment stuff here. Rogue exiles, 8% chance for 20 more rogue exiles. Given how what I've explained so far, that shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Better scarabs, more map effect to make these maps as juicy as possible, as well as strong boxes, because those strong boxes are going to have those rogue exiles in. If you've watched any of the former videos, you'll know that any all flamed mob has a chance to be in your strong boxes as the strong boxes use the base mobs in your map. So we have a chance to both summon them and then reopen those boxes with secret compartments. So summon in the rogue exiles, summon them again. That's the theme that's going on here, whether it's with ritual, strong box, or just the map in general. It's all about killing rogue exiles and then beyond monsters. Now, what do I think about this? Well, it's not really for me to say. I think that this has a drastic effect on the game because it can farm too many things. Normally, MF, I'm kind of give or take, right? From MF, it has its place and it farms what it farms. But this farms so many things at the same time that it becomes almost impossible for you to do anything else and feel good about it. There's obviously things that MF can't farm, Essence, Harby, Loot blight stuff like that but in terms of farming even maps or corpses or all flames or anything this just does it all and you even if you really want you're gonna eventually drop uh, an unrequited love with the max drop and you're gonna have yourself a free mirror you're gonna drop yourself plenty of full apothecaries and you're gonna drop yourself plenty of full headhunters so i think this was a mistake this all flame i think it was a decision made when the league was at a big low and i think they might live to regret it but if you enjoy this obviously i'm not trying to ruin anyone's day ruin anyone's farm but here it is i just wanted to share the farm show you what's going on and why the prices are as crazy as they are right now and they will probably get even crazier if this continues progenesis is almost doubled in price because people want to do these maps and you need to be incredibly tanky um there it is the new meta for Path of Exile. What do you feel about it? Let me know in the comments. I'm still undecided. Uh, Aaron on the side of this is maybe too strong, but uh, I don't want to be a buzzkill. So I'm going to sit on the fence. If anyone would like to join me on the fence, please do. If you're mad, let me know. If you're glad, let me know. I'll see you next time.